You're listening to The Manning Report with your host, James David Manning. The news behind the headlines. Watch Fox News. Watch them try to spin that the Mueller report. Trump talking about no collusion, complete exoneration. Well, we all know that's a lie. We all know that. We know that's a lie. We know that Robert Mueller said that he could not have been exonerated from a collusion. Uh, from obstruction of justice, rather. If he couldn't be exonerated, he would have exonerated him. We know that. We know that, that, that Mueller said that. We also know that he had 141 contacts. Trump campaign had 141 contacts with the Russians during the length and breadth of the campaign. And they know that Trump is as guilty as sin. They know that. But they don't care. Why? Because there's something else more important than, than America, and that is white people. That's right, white people. And, you know, I, I understand that the dynamics. I, I understand that white people are scared to death that 10 years from now they're going to be picking cotton and have some black slave, a brown slave master, a Muslim or something like that. You know, that, that's how it is. But the truth of the matter is that's what it's going to be if God don't come and save them in the tribulation. That's how that is. They're just a dying breed of people. It's only the truth. That's all that it is. It's all the truth. And there's nothing nobody can do about it. You know, you, there's nothing you can pray. But there's nothing you can do. Somebody said the other day, we're going to do the same thing that Trump did. Trump backed up a dump truck up to the Treasury Department going back a year ago with that so-called uh, middle class tax reform where he took $1.5 trillion out of the Treasury and set the deficit up $3 trillion and gave all that money to rich people and told poor white people in Kentucky and Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Georgia, Texas, Ohio, Indiana, Montana, told all them poor white people in South Carolina, North Carolina, West Virginia, and Virginia, told all them poor white people they're going to get that money going to them. Then they didn't get a, they, in fact, they got got. They got got. <laughs> they're looking at their income tax return checks and they're getting less money now than they did on the Obama. <laughs> These white people down there in Tennessee and Kentucky, talking about, we want to look at them. They look at their tax return. They say, we want Obama. We want Obama. Hell, on Obama, they were getting big tax returns. They were getting Medicare, Medicaid. They were getting drugs. They were getting, we want Obama down there in Tennessee. They won't put it on news. They won't put this on news. Not even CNN. They're scared to care. But yeah, the white people down there in Tennessee, down in Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, East Texas, Georgia, Florida, we want Obama. We looking at the, looking at their tax return checks. They got three thousand dollars less this year than they got when they were Obama. We want Obama. Trump lying, talking about that he gonna be able to that the white people, poor people gonna get richer. The the the, the rich people got richer, and I think that we need to see. You know, how much money did Trump make? So I just want to pull y'all's coat to let you know, just because even the people getting money to Trump don't mean that they didn't take the Mueller report seriously. They know Trump is a scoundrel, a liar, a con man, a pathological, a degenerate from way back when. They know that. But there's something else more important to them. Number one, their money. And number two, and, and in order, the number two is their white race, because some of them got enough money to buy an island and, and leave America and go live where you're put up with Muslims or brown skinned Mexican people. You're listening to the Manning Report, everybody. I am James David Manning. This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon. Uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man will tell you what God has said. Whether to say yea or nay. Whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he. I'm the Lord, sir. James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information. <laughs>